This is my Crumble deck. It's an alternative to the Elgato Stream deck. The stuff from Elgato is way too expensive for my taste, so I decided to build one myself. My Crumble deck is basically an Arduino Duo with a touchscreen, buttons and a 3D printed case. The Crumble deck started as a touch deck consisting of an Arduino and a touchscreen shield. The Arduino Duo works as a programmable keyboard which I can use to send shortcuts to the PC. These shortcuts can for example be used by OBS to switch scenes. The touchscreen is pretty small and doesn't work perfectly. Sometimes I touched the screen, but it didn't do anything. So I decided to add some buttons and use the touchscreen for navigation only. I went for 20 buttons since that was the amount of buttons I programmed on the touchscreen. Until this point the touch tag did not have a case. I made the decision to design a case for the Arduino and the buttons. The first step was to build a prototype so I could see how big the case would be and where the holes in the case needed to be. After the prototype was done, I changed a few things and made a 3D model of the case using Blender. As you can see, the bottom part of the case has some support pillars. The tall ones are to support the area where the buttons are, so the case doesn't break if I put too much pressure on the buttons. The smaller support pillars are for the Arduino. After the printing was done, I had to file a few millimeters off the support pillars so the case could close smoothly. Then I screwed the buttons to the top part of the case. Next up I soldered the board. I could have connected the buttons directly to the Arduino, but the board made it easier to work with such little space. After that I had to connect the buttons. Instead of connecting each button to the Arduino with two wires, I connected the buttons in a 5x4 matrix pattern. So instead of having 20 wires connected to the Arduino, I only connected 9 wires. I'll add a video explaining the matrix keyboard in the description. What I had to do was basically connect all button outputs from each column. Next up, I had to connect all the button inputs from each row. Finally, I could solder the 9 wires, 5 columns, 4 rows onto the board. The last step was to plug the board into the Arduino. Programming the Arduino was the next step. I will post a link to the code in the description. At the moment the Crumble Deck has 5 menus. Number 1 is the main menu. Number 2 is the streaming menu. Number 3 is the affinity menu which I use for picture editing. Number 4 is the Twitch menu. There I got the shortcuts for some of my Twitch emotes and often used commands. Number 5, which is not shown in the video, is my voice meter menu, which I use to control voice meter potato. This is my stream menu. There I can switch scenes and mute all of my 5 important audio sources. I also added a button to hide my face cam and mute my mic at the same time.
the Twitch menu lets me post my emotes and use some commands. Eight buttons post the emotes automatically. The last 12 buttons just post to text without pressing enter, just in case I want to tag someone. So that's my Grumble deck. If you have questions regarding the Grumble deck, post them in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.